मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज श्रीनिवास जिया एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू मैथमेटिक्स सो इन योर फर्स्ट पीयूसी सिलेबस इन मैथमेटिक्स देयर आर 16 चैप्टर्स देयर आर 16 चैप्टर्स इन दैट द फर्स्ट वन इज सेट्स सेकंड वन इज रिलेशंस एंड फंक्शंस द थर्ड वन इज ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शंस द फोर्थ वन इज mathematical induction the fifth one is complex numbers and quadratic equations the sixth one is linear inequalities and the seventh one is permutations and combinations and the eighth one is sequences and series and the ninth one is binomial theorem and the tenth one is straight lines and the eleventh one is conic sections and the twelfth one is three dimensional geometry and the thirteenth one is limits and derivatives and the 14th one is mathematical reasoning and the 15th one is statistics and finally the 16th one is probability this one is a probability so these are the chapters comes under first qc syllabus in mathematics in the mathematics among them i have selected one chapter that is called what complex numbers and quadratic equations complex numbers and quadratic equations so before going to talk about complex numbers let me discuss about numbers let me discuss about the numbers in that the first one is natural numbers the first one is a natural numbers natural numbers you have studied about the numbers i mean natural numbers integers rational numbers irrational numbers real numbers okay na now let me talk about natural numbers so what are natural numbers presents the numbers the numbers obtained in the process of counting the numbers obtained in the process of counting are called natural numbers are called natural numbers so now how do we actually count madbekadre start madodu yavinda start madti andre one inda start madtivi so adakkoskara count madbekadre bartakkana numbers kelende kadu nava natural numbers and what is the representation of set of all natural numbers andre n capital n is the representation of the set of all natural numbers so set of all natural numbers na yavinda represent madti andre capital n inda so n is the set of all natural numbers 1 2 3 पूर्णांगण सर जीरो नेगेटिव इल्ला ऑफ कोर्स द नेगेटिव ऑफ जीरो इज एन एस अ जीरो अंदर 
So zero is same as negative half zero. Zero is same as negative half half zero. Okay, right? Okay, right? Right. So this is about uh, integers. So natural numbers, sir, all numbers, sir, and then integers. Okay, right? Next, sir, uh, rational numbers. Rational numbers. This is all very important. Rational numbers. Next, sir, uh, what what is the representation of rational numbers? Sir, Q is the table. What's the representation of natural numbers? Sir, n. What's the representation of all numbers? Sir, W. Capital W. What's the representation of integers? Sir, Z. R. I. Z. R. I. Z. R. I. Is what are rational numbers? Sir, representation of rational numbers? Sir, Q. So what are the rational numbers? Sir, the numbers of the form. The numbers of the form P by Q. If Q can't be equal to zero, then both P and Q belongs to Z. Z means integers. And what is the representation of rational numbers? Like Q. So rational numbers are the numbers of the form P by Q. Rational numbers are the set of all numbers of the form P by Q. If both P and Q are equal to zero, integers are equal to zero. And if the denominator Q that is not equal to zero, because If it is equal to zero, then this number is not defined because anything by zero can't be defined. Still, no one defined. You will be allowed to define one. Still, no one defined anything by zero. So suppose five thousand three, five divided by zero. This is not defined. This is not defined. Still, no one defined. This is not defined. That's correct. So still, no one defined anything by zero. Anything by zero. So anything by zero. That can be taken as infinity and the thousand divided by zero. Anything by zero and the thousand divided by zero. Infinity and the thousand divided by zero. But that is not exact definition. So anything by still no one defined anything by zero. So that's why in this case Q can't be equal to zero. So if I want to take the all numbers, I want to take the number rational numbers. So take the rational numbers. For example, the one that is so one by two, the one that is now this is the P by Q. The one that is P and the one. The one that is Q and the Two. So both one and two are integers only. If both one and two are integers only, so can I? So suppose minus five divided by six. Of course, it is also which like what the sense? P by Q. What is the P under? Minus five. What is the Q under? Six. So these are all these are these are all called what the sense? Rational numbers. So suppose five are only. Five is also a rational number because five divided by five by one. This is also which like P by Q. If what is the P under? Five. What is the P under? One. So every integer is also what in the sense rational number. Every natural number is also what in the sense rational number. Next, sir, we will talk about irrational numbers. Okay, now we will talk about the uh, irrational numbers. Irrational numbers. And what is the representation of irrational numbers in the sense? T, T is the one to be. So T is the set of all irrational numbers. T is the set of all uh, irrational numbers. Sir. So what are irrational numbers in the sense? The number which is not a rational number. The number which is not a rational number. The number which is not a rational number is called an irrational number. Is called an irrational number. So the number which is not a rational number is called an irrational number. Is called an irrational number. Yeah, how do rational number argue along? And the number again, the correct number irrational number. If for example, example that is what I am doing. Root two, that is what I am doing. Root two. So root two, what is it? Root two can also be as root two divided by one. Yes. Now it is like sir, P by Q formula is wrong. So it is irrational. It is not a rational because uh, of course it is just like p by q. But here we have a condition. It is called what? Both p and q are must be what? Integers only. But here we have a p now only root two is there. Root two is not an integer. Root two is an integer or all. So other first para root two is not an integer. Then irrational is not there. Okay na? So it is not a rational number. So number which is not a rational number is called what? This is irrational number. Root two is not there. Or root three is not there. Or root four is not there. So etc. So all called what? This is irrational number. Sorry. Root four is not there. Root five. Root five is not there. So all the people are saying what? Irrational numbers. So take it. Okay na? Next up, we will talk about real numbers. Real numbers. 
And what is the representation of real numbers in the R? Very important. So, what are the real numbers in the R? The union of all rationals and irrationals. Okay, so, any number, and it may be rational number or irrational number or integer or natural number. Any number is called what? <coughs> real number or it is the union of rationals and irrationals. Right? It is the union of rationals and irrationals. This is the symbol for union. Union means the other one is shares. So, either may be rational number like it or irrational number like it. Any rational number or irrational number is called a real number. Yeah, rational number, yeah, number is real. Yeah, maybe rational number is real. Yeah, 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 so real numbers are the numbers which are the union of are the set of all numbers which are the union of rationals and irrationals. Okay, right? Rationals and irrationals. So all is the union of rationals and irrationals. So rational number is real. Real number is real. Irrational number is real. Real number is real. Natural number is real. Real number is real. Integer is real. Integer is real. Integer is real. So simple as that. Any number is called what? Real number. That is it. Any number is called real number. So this is about the number system. First, natural numbers. They are the numbers obtained in the process of counting. Very important. And what is the representation of natural numbers? Natural numbers are n. What are the natural numbers? One, two, three, four, five, like this. But then it is next of whole numbers. What is the representation of whole numbers? W. Not only the whole numbers. Zero, one, two, three, four, like this. Okay, na. Next up, integers, sir. What is the representation of all integers? Na, z r i. What are integers, sir? Integers are the all whole numbers under negatives. How many? Na, negatives only. So zero plus or minus one, plus or minus two, plus or minus three, plus or minus four, so on. So this is all called what we say integers. Next, we will talk about rational numbers. Rational numbers are the numbers of the form, instead of all numbers of the form p by q, then q part p equal to 0, because if it is 0, then the number can't be defined, because anything by 0 can't be defined, so we can take it as anything by 0 as infinity, that is for our reference, but still no one defined, it will be already defined, still no one defined, anything by 0, anything by 0, so that's why if q can't be equal to 0, and both p and q are what in the sense, integers, integers are p and q are value, q are value 0, Zero na bitto, plus na agudo, na minus na agudo, plus two agudo, minus two agudo, plus three agudo, minus three agudo, plus four agudo, minus four agudo, so on. Is it pina value na agudo? Zero agudo, one na two, minus two na two, minus two three, minus three four, minus four. Ibaran di aaw gakan di pula agudo. So this is about rational number. Next, the last one. What is the representation of rational number? Q. Next, the irrational number. What is the representation of irrational number? T. The number which is not a rational number is called an irrational number. Yawa number or rational number agi rolo, anta number gani thiru 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 irrational number. So for example, kasi rolo thiru 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 of course, now it is just like p by q. So, if p by q form is there, so then our rational number is equal to the no, because here we have a condition. Here, now both p and q are must be an integer, so integer is an integer. So, p now value is there, root two is there. So, root two is not an integer. We have to take integer as a chance here, so it is there. So, that's why it is not a rational number. If it is not a rational number, then it is called what? Irrational number. Next, the real number. So, what is the representation of real number? So, that R. R is the representation of all set of all real numbers in the grid. So this is the R is the set of all real numbers, sir. And that is the union of rational and irrational number. I mean, real number is any rational or irrational number. Yeah, other rational number na agir bodo ila irrational number agir bodo. Yena the grid na wa real number na the grid. So real number pe pe, aye natural agir bodo, whole number agir bodo, integer agir bodo, rational agir bodo, irrational agir bodo. So any number is called what? Real number na the general agir bodo. Okay na? So this is the whole number system. Very very important. Okay, so by using this number system, uh, we have to study uh, complex numbers. Okay, now we have to study complex numbers and uh, quadratic uh, equations. So the first time we have to study number system. Another idea is that. So the first time we have to study number system. So, first to PUC mathematics are 16 chapters in the way. Other only complex numbers and quality equation are one of the chapters. Okay, na? So, there are 16 chapters in your in first PUC mathematics. In that, there is one chapter called complex numbers and quality equations. In this chapter, you should get 
ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ದು ಒನ್ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ದು ಒಂದು ತ್ರೀ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ದು ಒಂದು ಸೊ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಆನ್ ಯರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಓಕೆನಾ ಸೊ ಆನ್ ಯರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಇಂದ ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಒಂದು ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಒಂದು ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ತ್ರೀ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಒಂದು ಸೊ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಈ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಇಂದ ಆನ್ ಯರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಓಕೆನಾ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಯು ದಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆನಾ ಇದೆ ಆನ್ ಯರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಯಾವ್ದು ರೇಟ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಮೇನ್ಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಮೇನ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಫೈವ್ ಒನ್ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೈವ್ ಮೇನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಫೈವ್ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮೇನ್ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮೇನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟಿರ್ತಂದ್ರೆ ಒನ್ ಟು ಟೆನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಒನ್ ಟು ಟೆನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮೇನ್ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ಟು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ಟು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮೇನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ ಸೊ ಟೆನ್ ಇಂಟು ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟೆನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಮೇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಮೇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅಮಂಗ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಟೆನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಟೆನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಸರ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಎಷ್ಟು ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಇತ್ತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಫೋರ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇರ್ತಾವೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಇದೇ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿ ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಟೆನ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೂ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಮೇನ್ ಕೂಡ ಎಷ್ಟು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಸಿಗ್ತವೆ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಸಿಗ್ತವೆ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಮೇನ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಟು ತರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಟು ತರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಅಮಂಗ್ ದಮ್ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ಟು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಎನಿ ಟೆನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಈಚ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೀಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಇಂಟು ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ತರ್ಟಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಮೇನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಟೆನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಟು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ನೈನ್ ಟು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೆನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಮೇನ್ ಅಮಂಗ್ ದಮ್ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ಟು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ಟು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಈಚ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿ ಫೈವ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಫೈವ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ತರ್ಟಿ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ತರ್ಟಿ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ಇನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾನಿಯ